This is a warning, a urgent warning. Uh, ugh, okay, I don't like giving these messages, okay? Cause I don't know, cause just people just don't like to listen and, and Abba uses me and shows me the so many things, but not only just faces of people who are doing things, but the outcome if they do not stop. So, and the reason why I keep speaking about certain things is because I was telling me to speak about it and that he's not pleased with it. Not in the slightest. So, here I am. Um, this is about the churches. The churches. Two, two, two on my timer. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Let me turn this. Cause I always turn the camera so the Holy Spirit is in the, in the viewing, too. So... <laughs> Okay. All right, Holy Spirit, do your thing, do your thing. God is not pleased with these churches, okay? Like the Bible says, the enemies and in the in the the last days, the end times, right? Your enemies will be of your own household, okay? They will not be far off. And that also includes the church, okay? Why? It's a house. 333 three, three on my timer. Huh. Ooh. It's a house. Okay, a congregation, a tribe, a family, okay? Holy Spirit says there is a lot of you. He's having me say you because whoever will see this, whoever eyes this will meet, it will convict them and their spirit, whether they decide to ignore it or not, you're getting the warning. So whatever the repercussion is, it's on you. Uh, but I pray to God that you, that you heed to it. Holy Spirit says a lot of them, a lot of you won't because there is a, there is a spirit of narcissism Okay, Jezebel. Did it, did it, shit, did it, did it. Jezebel, okay. That is running rampant in the church. That has been running rampant in the church. In churches. Uh. 
There are things going on in the church houses, okay? That people know that they're absolutely wicked things, okay? Inappropriate sexual relationships in the congregation between family members, even molestation. There are pastors of churches, blah, 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 pastors, and I use that term loosely. Why? Five, five, five on my timer. Why? Because a lot of them are not called by God. Have not been born again. Have not been raised up by God. Oh, Holy Spirit is giving me this overwhelming feeling of fornication. Fornication and incest. I hate that word. I just, uh, uh, there's manipulation running through the church houses, okay? Of course there is because narcissism that's wrapped in manipulation okay witchcraft is prevently prevently there thank you Holy Spirit witchcraft is prevently running and sweeping through churches okay and it has been for a long time it's the same people Elders too, the same pe that know better. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Elders too, okay. The same people that you would never think, right? That would that would be into that, okay. Are taken over by a spirit of narcissism, and as well as other spirits, okay. Especially when there's fornication, okay, amongst the congregation. Like I said before, those spirits transfer. I can just imagine on top of fornication through touching, hugging, through all type of different means. There's more drama in the church house than there is out in the streets. And, and people know that what they're doing is inappropriate. People know that God would not be pleased with what they're doing. See, people act like people don't have any integrity, okay, and any morals anymore. People act like since nothing's happened to them, right? That it's okay to do. Or, or, they disrespect Abba, God, by thinking in themselves that, hey, I can do this now, and then later on I'll just repent from it. That's majorly disrespectful to Abba. And to Jesus. Okay, so help me out, Spirit. How you want me to say this? A spirit of narcissism is very, 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 and strong too, very manipulative, 
very prideful and very arrogant, okay? So much so that, 10, 10 on my timer, so much so that even hearing a warning coming forth like it is now, they will totally dismiss and disregard the warning because they think they know better, period. No matter who's coming to tell them, they think they know better. See, a spirit of Jezebel never looks at the reflection. They lack the ability to self-introspect. Self-introspect as well as from others. Holy Spirit says there's there Holy Spirit says there are some that will listen, okay, and that are going to take heed to this. Excuse me, but just as well, there's a lot more that are not. And that's just the that's just the way it is. I mean it's their decision. But a lot more, they are not going to heed this word. Okay. And the ones that do not, plain and simple, just hope the Holy Spirit said it, just, it, it will be death. Death. Your life and your soul will be, you, you know what it means. I, I don't even want to expound. You know what it means. Do I have to expound the Holy Spirit? Yeah, they know what you know what it means. <sighs> God has been giving the world more than enough time to repent and to do what they know to be the right thing, okay? Holy Spirit says people have gotten so comfortable in their sin and in their pride, arrogance, competition, I hate that word too, that they've gone off the deep end. Uh, and then before I came on here, the Holy Spirit already showed me faces. These faces are from the church that, the church that I used to go to as a kid, okay, which is deemed my family church. Uh, he showed me faces in there, okay? I'm not up here to bring names up here. That's not what I'm up here to do, okay? They hear this message, which they will. They know who they are. But I was just being shown that. Maybe for some type of from confirmation. It's never too late to do what is right. And Abba says, you know what is right. He created you. He knows when you know. Even the slightest, even the slightest, uh, uh, you know, even the slightest tilt to whichever direction. He knows when you know for a certainty when you shouldn't be doing something. And when he has spoken to you either himself or he has sent others to tell you. And I say that because people, okay, people, thank you. People like to 
try to play Abba as a fool. Okay, as if he as if he isn't God himself. People try to like to people like to try to play Abba as a fool, okay? Playing the role like they didn't know. Or like Yeah, like they didn't know. Plain and simple, like they did not know. You know if what you're doing is God approved or not. Okay, and we're not talking about the regular, thank you, Holy Spirit. We're not talking about the regular, I don't want to, not that word, I don't want to, okay, just to use this context. We're not talking about the regular sinning, right? Even though no sin is bigger than the other. That's why I don't use that word, but Holy Spirit said use it for context. But witchcraft and sorcery, divination, manipulation of people's lives. It's on a whole nother level to Abba. And these people, that's where the spirit of pride and arrogance comes in. These people think that they know it all. Okay? They think they have a right. When in actuality, in all actuality, thank you, Liz, period, they know nothing about what they're doing. They don't know the ramifications and the effects of what they are doing. They know what they want to come out of it, and they may have done things to other people and it worked. Well, I'm gonna please tell you, you guys, please take this, you, please repent, whoever, whoever, besides the, 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 the faces I've been shown, whoever, please repent because you know what? There's been lives that's been, that, that have been taken, that have been lost behind this, and it all stems from greed, jealousy, envy, that didn't need to be there. It, it, it just, it makes no sense to compete with other people when the one you should be competing with is yourself. Yourself. There's two sides to a person. Those are the two that compete with each other. Not trying to, what's the saying? Keep up with the Joneses? Is that, is that the saying? Keep up with the Joneses? We gotta come out of this world system. This Babylonian Egyptian system. Or you will perish right along with it. We're not promised tomorrow. As well as all of you know that, we're not promised tomorrow. So for us to think that we have tomorrow to repent or to stop what we're doing is foolish. Foolish and it's arrogant in itself. I don't know how people forget that God sits high and looks low. That he is omnipresent Okay, omniscient. He's every his eyes are everywhere, everywhere at all times. Everywhere at all times. You can go to the darkest corner in the furthest place, and he'll be there. I don't forgot who it is in the Bible. Uh, Paul, maybe, uh, or David, some one of them said, "If I make my bed in hell." I know you'll be there because God is everywhere at once. So those of you that thought you were getting away with things in the dark, I 
Abba sent me here to let you know that he sees and saw everything that you've been doing. Everything that's been in your heart, that you've planned to do to others, for your personal gain, or for clout. I'm hearing clout chasers. Holy Spirit said clout chasers. People have no shame no more. They have no respect for life. All it is is me, me, me. What I want. Nobody has the spirit of surface anymore. Well, some. Most do not. To serve. You know, I mentioned that to somebody one time and they looked at me like up and down with their nose in the air. Because I said that you have to be a servant to people. They made it sound like I was I was saying that they had that they're a slave. No, you're a slave under this Babylonian Egyptian system. That's where you're a slave. Right now, you are a slave. You absolutely are a slave. You're a slave to those demonic spirits. that are walking you like a dog. That's the, Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Spirit's analogy. Walking you like a dog. That's what the Holy Spirit said. Walking you like a dog. I was not pleased, okay? P point blank period. There are, there are mm, family secrets. Good Jesus, good Jesus. <sighs> See, I don't like knowing all y'all business either. I don't, but I don't pick and choose what, what the Abba gives me, what the Holy Spirit gives me, or, or the Lord. If, if some of y'all don't start changing your ways, and, and the way you're doing things, your skeletons are coming out of that closet. All of them. All of them. And, and those of you know what I mean by all of them. All of them. I know you know because I feel the conviction. I feel you being convicted. Don't ask how, you won't understand. It, 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 you, you just won't. That it, spiritual things are <laughs> of no understanding to the, to the carnal man. That's why people can easily call a, 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 a real child of God crazy or whatever they like to call us. But the warning's still there nonetheless. Two, three, four, five on my timer. That's why I put that camera pointing up to pointing up because the Holy Spirit likes to sit right there when I'm talking on a video. Now, like I said before, like the Holy Spirit said before, and used me to say, there will be a lot of people who do not repent. And don't let it be because of your pride, because of me, uh, because of what you think about me, okay? Because I'm just the vessel. Let it be that you hear this message that's coming through me, from who it's coming from. Take me out of the equation, 444. You guys have eyes but cannot see. You have ears, but do not hear.
Abba says, and then you call out to me, wanting me to help and to save you. But when I'm speaking to you directly, you do not heed my voice. Ooh, Jesus. You are disrespectful children. Adolescents. Abba has feelings too, okay? Do you guys know that? You know we're made in his image, right? You know that he has feelings too, right? If you don't know, you know now. Abba has feelings too. Ash first. <laughs> we're made in his image. Just think about how you would feel if you're trying to stop and save your child, your baby, in which you have birthed, okay, or raised, when you're trying to warn them of something that you see ahead that coming up a few exits down, and they don't listen to you, it hurts a parent's feelings because they know no matter what they say to you, you're still gonna do what you wanna do. They know the end result of that thing, you don't. Abba wishes, not wishes, wants, thank you Abba. Abba wants that no man would perish, okay? And when I say man, I mean mankind, man, woman, okay? He doesn't want nobody to perish, but he's realistic. He knows that people will be hard-headed. He knows that, that people will have to be made an example out of because they refuse instruction. They refuse sound doctrine. They just refuse, period. I was not pleased with the witchcraft in the churches, the fornication in the churches, the lasciviousness in the churches. Ooh, Holy Spirit, come through. I feel your presence. The incest in families. The secret sexual skeletons in marriages. Wearing fake masks. Depicting like to the world. It's a picture perfect situation. Let it be known to you this day that you have been warned. That you have been warned urgently. Thank you, Alba. Urgently. You will be without excuse. There will be nothing that you could say. When you provoke me to anger and to wrath,
you will know without a shadow of a doubt that I am the Lord. I've been watching and I've been waiting and I've been talking and I've been sending but you are like the walking dead you are Walking dead. It goes along with that verse. Let the dead bury the dead. Spiritually dead. Your spirits are rotten. Rotten with a stench of sulfur. Rot in sulfur. Realize this. Oh, Jesus. Three, two, one. I'm like, oh. I've been keeping you from your destruction and your demise. That your feet run to so quickly. Apparently, you've forgotten my word. And what I allow to happen for those who plan evil in their hearts continuously and have no regard for me or my word. Let this be a warning to you. Because there won't be another. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, Jesus. If you choose not to believe my prophets, my evangelists, my apostles, I've even spoken through your children and you've dismissed it as babbling and jargon. This is the problem. No one is attentive. No one listens. No one pays attention. I am a merciful God. Long suffering. But I am not your fool.
I'm giving you time to get yourselves to deck. Oh, excuse me. To get yourselves together and to surrender and to repent of what you know you need to be repenting of. I am nearer than you think. Don't be caught unaware. Says the living God. All right, y'all. I, I did my job. Okay, I'm getting off of here. It's, I don't even. All right, Alan.